when you're going into the album making process, like you have to get into your creative zone. Mm -hmm. How do you get into your creative zone? Well, it takes getting out of your head one way or the other. Oh. Right? It's hard to get out. You, know. <laughs> you can get into the jazz cigarettes, as some of us do. But um, <laughs> it's good. It's good just to sort of you know get yourself outside of yourself. If you're thinking, you're you're not going to do a good job. So, as as my friend Vincent told me, work from your belly, work from your tummy. That's where your feeling comes from. If someone tells you something really spectacular, you get a feeling in your gut, in your yeah. heart. Right? It doesn't really hit you in the head, right? So if you can get yourself out of your head and more into your instincts, which kind of live in your tummy, then you're in a good place. Do you have any exercises that you do to get more into the gut? I mean, obviously, I'm asking for personal reasons <laughs> right now, <laughs> like like you're here, but well, I think we all could benefit. Well, somebody who's been benefit. so successful at yeah, doing so, yeah, like we, we want to know. We could all use a little help. Well, um, I do a little horizon finding. I find a horizon. I do some breaths, eight in, eight out, some some mild meditation, you know. Mm. And uh, I like to imagine that I'm like a master at it, but I just, um, I, I'm an amateur. But uh, it helps, you know, it helps to calm down and, and quiet your mind. It's, you don't realize how busy your mind is all day until you spend a moment in a room by yourself and then you hear mm. the voices in your Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, sure. I mean, anything you're worried about or anything you have to do and take care of or something that somebody said to you during the day, you know, you, you, can, you can get away from yourself pretty quick. If you can quiet that down, you're more apt to find something that you didn't know was there. Mm. Okay, so when someone says something great to you, right, like about you or your album, and you feel it in your gut, how do you deal with if someone kind of says something more critical sure. or um, unpleasant f for you? Like, yeah. first of all, where does it hit you? Yeah. Well and then also, how do you deal with that? You know, it depends on who's saying it. If somebody I super respected in the music way mm. wanted to say something about, you know, I know the way I feel about the records I make, mm -hmm. but I'm also curious as to the way that they hit other people. So let's just say somebody I super respected, I would stop and listen, and I would I'd be fair. I might not agree, but most of the time it hits me in the heart, mm. you know, because that's where it comes from. I have an ego. Everybody has one. You have to have one to yep. get by in this world. Mm -hmm, sure do. But <laughs> you try to you try to keep that sort of like you know purposed for actuating other things. That i.e., if you damage your ego versus your heart, if someone damages my heart, I'm in worse shape than my ego. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yes. So, yeah, if criticism comes from art that you're making, that's the name of the game. You know, not everybody's going to like what you have to say. But um, if you know what you're talking about, you don't have to worry about that. So that's the thing. All good this is yeah. deep. This is information. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we could, this could be 7 p.m. We're starting to, like, <laughs> yeah. crack a bottle of wine, and we're just uh, getting in. But we got right. deep <laughs> thoughts with Ben Dickey.